supply. You know, folks, we have a lot of people that keep asking, do you have instructions for the 27 strand, the roper cinch? Well, basically, the instructions are in our How to Braid book. It's just not written as a roper's um, cinch. It's written as a 27 strand cinch. But the way to make that to become a roper cinch is just to widen out, out in the middle using our cinch, um, cinch spreaders. But I'm going to demonstrate how we string these now because the measurements are a little different. We're doing it a little different technique. But I'm going to start off with stringing it on this frame. First of all, I'd like to mention that when you're using these buckles, please be very sure that you have the buckles in the right position, that the tongue goes this way and it goes up. It's easy to get that flipped around and do it that way and then think that the buckle is faulty. Um, so when you're putting it in here, it goes like so. I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to put a piece of tape up there so that tongue will stay in place. And then on the bottom one, it goes, you got to make sure that you do the same, the right direction, and it will go like this. So I'm going to take up some string here, and I'm going to tie these two together so that they stay in position. So here are the buckles in the correct position. Notice I've just taped the tongues up so that they stay. I've secured both the buckles together using a lark's head knot and just a piece of scrap cord and it's tight enough that these buckles stay secure and they are level they're not crooked so I can't emphasize enough again make sure that your buckles are facing the correct way also this is going to be a 32 inch roper cinch so I have it set at the 32 mark and I also have it in the second hole in the bar so that when I start to weave and it gets tighter, I can let it down a little bit. It'll loosen it just enough so that it's easier to do your cross weave. Mm -hmm. 